Hello everybody. Today we are going to study grammar lesson called the present perfect tense. We use the present perfect tense when we talk about an action that happened in the past, but we don't know the exact time. It happened in the past, but we don't know when it exactly happened. We form the present perfect tense by using his or have and the past participle. His is used for he, she, it, have is used for I, we, you, they, and the past participle form is the third form of the verb. For example, when we say eat, ate, eaten, eaten is the past participle. When we say go, went, gone, gone is the past participle. If we have regular verbs, we just add ed to the regular verb to form its past participle. For example, we say talk, talked, talked, so talked is the past participle. Walk, walked, walked, so walked is the past participle. For the singular pronouns like I, you, he, she, it, we use I have played, you have played, he or she has played, it has played. And for the plural pronouns like we, you, they, we use have played. So we say we have played, you have played, they have played. Here we have two boys talking to each other. So one is asking the other, telling him, have you finished your homework? Here the question is in the present perfect. Because we use have and then the pronoun and then the past participle. Here we can see two girls talking to each other. One is telling the other, I haven't seen this film. This sentence is in the negative. So we use I, then haven't, and the past participle seen. We can see now a doctor talking to a small child and telling him, what have you eaten this morning? So here we use the question word what, and then have, and then the pronoun you, and then the past participle eaten. We use the present perfect as we said before if we don't know when something happened in the past or if it happened in the past, or if the time is not so important. Here we can see a lady saying Ahmed isn't here, I think he's gone to visit Tamer. She says I think he's gone to visit Tamer. His gone is the present perfect. He has gone because she doesn't know the exact time that the action happened in in the past here two girls are talking one is saying have you traveled abroad before the other is answering yes i have i took nice photos so the question is have you traveled abroad before the answer is yes i have and if the girl hasn't traveled so she can say no i haven't so have you traveled abroad we answer it by saying, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Here we can see a mother talking to her two children. She's telling them, have you done everything yet? Yet is used with the present perfect. Or we can say yet is a key word for the present perfect. Because there is yet in the question, so the present perfect is have you done. The girl is saying, we have already cleaned the fridge, but we haven't washed the dishes yet. The girl uses already in her answer, so she uses the present perfect. She says, we have already cleaned. Then she uses yet, and again yet is a key word for the present perfect, so she uses we haven't washed. The boy says, and Selma has just swept the floor. Just again is a key word for the present perfect, so he uses his just swept. Now we can say that just, yet, and already are key words for the present perfect. Yet is used only with questions and negative sentences. We use just and already when we talk about the present perfect or about an action which finished in the post. 